My white bean and tomato soup is a wonderful, hearty, and satisfying vegetarian Italian classic. You'll love how you can transform a simple soup into a hearty meal with just a few pantry ingredients. To begin, the first thing we're going to do is heat our saucepan over medium-high heat. Then we'll add in a little bit of olive oil. Just a tablespoon is all you need. It's extra virgin olive oil. The great thing about this soup is that you can make this with ingredients that you literally have in your pantry. And this soup is from my cookbook, the Mediterranean Diabetes Cookbook, where you'll find a lot of other very easy ways of making soups and easy weeknight dinners. Now that my oil is heated through, I'm going to add a few cloves of garlic. You can add as much as you like. I'm just going to stir that around. I'm going to add in a cup of tomato puree. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. This is kosher salt and some freshly ground pepper. It smells great already. And then I'm going to add in a quarter cup of parsley. You could also do basil if you want. I actually have a little bit extra here. I think a handful is fine. Parsley is wonderful. It has a lot of vitamin C and nutrients in it. So go ahead and stir it around. So now the sauce is boiling. What I'm going to do is turn down my heat and let this simmer with a cover for about 15 minutes. The sauce is going to get nice and thick. You're going to see along the side of the pan a little bit of crust has developed. If you scoop that off and spoon it off, that's where you have all of your flavor. So make sure to incorporate that in your sauce. So now our tomato sauce has been simmering for 15 minutes. I'm going to add two cups of stock. If you're vegetarian, you want to do vegetarian stock. If not, you could do chicken stock. That's going to give you all the flavor that you need. I'm just going to stir this around. Make sure and look for a nice reduced sodium stock if you're buying one. So now I'll add in my cannellini beans. Sometimes these go by the name of white kidney beans. You can use those also. Or really any bean that you have on hand that you like. What I'm going to do now is just turn my heat up to high. And I want this to come to a boil. That's going to bring all the flavors together. It's going to help to soften up the beans a little bit. It's also going to help bring my stock and my tomatoes together. So I'm going to add in my orzo pasta. I use orzo because it's what we always made when I was a kid. You're going to see that the orzo becomes nice and cooked through. You want it a little bit past al dente. Now that it boils, reduce the heat and put the lid on. And then we'll let it simmer for about 15 minutes and it looks and smells great. You can see on the side of the pot where there's kind of that line that goes around and about an inch and a half south of there is where our soup has migrated to. That's exactly what you want. That means that the soup has condensed, it's thickened as it's cooked, and all of those flavors have become more rich and concentrated. So let's ladle this right into our serving bowl. You can see how nice and thick that got. It's almost a stew consistency. And that's what we like for this. We're going to garnish this with Romano cheese. You could use Parmigiano or Grana or anything that you want. So there we have our white bean and tomato soup, a great weeknight meal that you can make with simple ingredients from your cupboard and just transport yourself to the Mediterranean instantly. Enjoy.